Susanna from Lex and Be Journals and I'm back again. I hope everybody's well. I'm back again with two journals that I've just finished and they are what, what um, Nick would call semi-naked. Um, so yes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to adopt that name because I think it's, it's very right. So these are medieval style journals. I'm, uh, I'm just going to put them in the right place. And yeah. I think they're good and I'm going to flip through them and you can see them inside and outside. I'm going to take this away and show you the first one, which is a like um, a diary, proper, like can be used as a proper diary. So one can start a, oh, it's like a perpetual journal and it's a book of it's like similar, similar to a book of days. And I, um, I've I've wrapped the the spine with leather and it's a beautiful leather and whoever likes leather would understand what I mean it's really soft and supple and almost suede and um, it smells amazing <laughs> so I'm, I'm very proud of this leather and I'm glad I have a piece to add to the spine and the papers is also beautiful and there's paper tree nook paper and it's medieval paper medieval a medieval style paper so let me show you inside and it does lay flat so that's the important thing this is a um, italian paper and it's um i just chose it i thought i think it matches the the front cover and the back cover perfectly so and i've got a little bit here and this is by an artist who whose name is, um, uh, it's, it's a, from a Duke de, Be de Berry. Duke de Berry, it's a um, medieval artist. And um, the, the, these represent the 12 months of the year. So I thought it was very clever the way they, way they, they first of all, they're painted on this, it's, it's like a collection of them over here. So you get all of them from the beginning in the front page. And then what I've done is, front page and then what I've done is I've I've also created 12 signatures there for for each month so that's why I said one can use it as a perpetual um, but of course it, it doesn't have to be it's a journal it's a it's a journal that is naked as I said and can be used in any way and all the paper is coffee tea dyed and there are pockets and other big pockets, bigger pockets. And this is February. And there's another, no, this is just, sorry, this is just an illustration decoration. And different types of paper. And another side pocket. This is March. This is also decoration. I have added pockets and also decorations on the side. So it, it is, you know, it is, it's got a bit of, it's got some decoration on it, but I haven't done very much. This is a pocket. Uh, April. Another pocket here, May. The actual images are beautiful. There's another decoration here. And another pocket in June. July, another pocket, and you can see it up here as well. Month, so there's a bit of washer here. There's a bit back pocket here. August, and I think August is delightful.
it's quite big, quite thick. So there's another pocket here, and I'm laminated. September. There's always a castle. Not always, but most of the time the castle's on the background. Side pockets. October. Marble pay paper side pocket. And a little bit more washi here. November. And finally, this is a, a leather pocket here. I thought this leather is lovely and I thought I'd add this as well. I love this leather. And finally, we've got December here. And then we've got a, a, another pocket and another pocket on the side here. And the idea is that it's lovely, just these, it's nice because one can decorate them as well. And there's a, a lace pocket and the book plate. So this is, this is a, the perpetual calendar journal or book of days. And this is a heritage journal as well. And I'll move it here on the side. And the other one is the Astrolabe and you must admit this is just so beautiful such a beautiful paper with so much detail on it and it's got gold in it and I just love this paper look at that it's just amazing just I fell in love with it when I saw this paper I just couldn't believe it and it is always be more beautiful when you're up close and I put this on the spine here um, when you're touching it and looking at it. This is the Florent Italian Flo Venetian. This, I think it's Venetian paper, if I'm not mistaken, because I bought it from Venice, but then. Um, and um, yes, I, I just I just love that paper as well. And I thought the blues go very well together. And a little bit of decoration here with the same papers. So it's a continuity inside and a corner here, corner pocket. And this, this is a, a beautiful illustration of an astrolabe from the internet. I have in, enclosed, I'm, I'm going to enclose this, uh, add this paper, which is a calendar um, for a month. And you can obviously scan it or whatever and repeat it. So you can have it all running through the, your, your journals. Um, this is, this is, um, uh, uh, there's different types of paper. This is graph paper. Another corner pocket. And different paper here. There's more of this beautiful decoration. And here's a corner pocket of marble paper. And some ephemera here. Mix ephemera. Another corner pocket. With graph paper. Another little piece of decoration. More papers. They're incredibly the, the, the colours are amazing, the dye. And of course my favourite is here. I've added that. There's a bit more there. Pages. This actually is naturally old, died all by itself. Some more of this. So it's basically pockets, a few images, and paper. The paper inside. They're not neither. Oh, there's another beautiful image here, but they're they're not themed in, in any very specific way. Um, I've left it a little bit open for people to... There's another one for the astrolabe. Just 
together. Side pocket here. Another side pocket there. This paper is just totally amazing. And the end with the book plate. This is the back. So these two are going to be up on Etsy tomorrow. Tonight, um, tonight I'm going to upload on Etsy um, keepsake and tomorrow evening um, will be these two and they're all they're all heritage journals and the idea of a heritage journal um, um, not it is is more or less is more or less very, not too much uh, decoration so people can can uh, can use their own ephemera and um and it's it's a little bit more plain but it will definitely have pockets and, and things like that but so i hope you enjoyed this video and I've got a few more heritage journals that I'm working on and hopefully by the end of the week I'll be done with those as well so I can move on to the theme journals that I've planned and uh, well have a lovely rest of the week and we will be talking soon thank you for watching bye bye